Okay, so this is a Porsche KN um, and we have a bit of a headlight moisture problem. If you can come and have a look at this one. See, we've got plenty of moisture in this headlight. We have a look at the other one. It's all clear. So we've got a source of moisture getting in. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the headlight out and we're going to dry it off with a hairdryer and then we're going to uh, seal it with some silicon sealant all the way around the edge and then we'll put it back in. Um, I had the same problem with this one last week and so I've sealed that one and that's worked for this um, for this week so I'm happy with that I'm going to do the same with the other one now and I'm just going to show you how to do that okay so the first thing we need is the tool to release the headlights and this is held in the boot and if we have a look underneath the boot this is the tool that we need to pop open the headlights Okay, so we have the tool now, and we're gonna, first of all, get to the access point, which is shown with the little headlight symbol. We just need to push the front of that, and it will lever up, and we can pull it right out of the way. If you have a look inside there, you'll see there's a silver bolt, and that's what we need to get our tool onto. So, if I put it on here, we need to just, so that's in now, located, and all I'm gonna do is turn it about a quarter of a turn clockwise, and you'll hear it click, and you'll see the, the headlight move forward. And see the headlight moving forward okay so that's that and because the headlights forward now we can just pull the whole thing the whole unit comes right out and we're left with just one connection which is here one connection Stop that. okay so we've now got the headlight out and all we need to do is to disconnect the wiring loom which is on here this one has um, the tab is actually broken on this one so I'm going to use my screwdriver just to, to lever it out um, so I'm going to just get in there and you're just listening for a very faint click which you might just hear oh, yeah, okay. yeah it already had clicked so that's it and we now have the headlight unit completely out okay so we've got the headlight out now you can see there's plenty of moisture in there which we need to dry out so we're going to uh, access the back of the headlight and you see there are these two caps that which we can take off. That's the first one. And the second one is here. Just click down on those top tabs and it will come um, come forward. The bottom tabs are just uh, to locate it. And now we've got access in to um, both of uh, the headlights. So what we're gonna do now is uh, get a hairdryer. Come around this way. And we are going to aim our hairdryer in at these slats here, which is actually the way that the air can get straight through to that front lens. I've taken the other access port off to allow the air to circulate. So it may well come out of this and you might feel some air coming through out of here, but we're going to put the hot air in through here. Um, it's important on your hairdryer, you don't do it too hot. So I'm setting it on the warm setting and I'm just going to put it onto um, a, a, a medium speed. Okay, so now you can see the moisture is all gone from the headlight, it's still quite warm. So what we're gonna do now is leave that for another half an hour. It took about half an hour to dry it out completely. So we'll leave that now for another half an hour to cool down completely. And then we will um, pop these caps back on uh, at the back here. And the unit's then sort of back together. In the meantime, we can take the black rubber off around the outside so that we can get to the gap between the black and the clear plastic lens. Okay. okay, so I've cleaned it down now and there's no dirt along here, um, just so that I should be able to make a pretty good contact with the silicon all around the edge of the uh, seal between the black casing here and the clear plastic lens. So I've got some just multi-purpose silicon which you might use in the bathroom or any, anywhere else um, and just cut the, the normal sort of size nozzle it doesn't have to be particularly thin or anything like that uh, and I'm just going to squeeze this along between this gap and just kind of help it in with my finger and smooth it down uh, as best I can
So it's a bit too much in some places, long enough in others. Let's just try and tidy that up a little bit. I think that was a bit from the previous application. So I'm just going to smooth that out down into that join. I'm sure there'll be people out there who can do this a lot better than me. As long as it makes a good join, a good seal, I'm happy enough with that. I can always tidy that up. Let's go a little bit further. Okay, so I've now sealed this all the way around. As you can see, make sure I've got plenty of silicon all the way around. And I'm going to leave this to dry now. Give that uh, as long as I can. Um, we won't need the car again today, so I'll uh, wait until this is completely dried, give it a good few hours, uh, and pop it back in the car. <laughs> and we'll uh, see how it looks next time. Okay, so we've got the lens back out now. We've popped the caps back on the back. So uh, put the rubber, black rubber gasket back round, just located that back on there. And now we've got to put it back in to the, the housing. You can see, just to show you, if you come in here, you can see the, when we turn the, the handle a quarter turn, what we're doing actually is rotating this metal bar. And so it needs to be down when we put the headlight in and then we'll rotate this up and it will lock it in place. It'll actually push it back and it'll locate into these clips here. And that's what holds it uh, firm. So the first thing we need to do is to reconnect the electrical connection, which just slip, simply slips on there until it clicks. And then we've got to slide this back in, line it up properly. Okay, so I've now located it in and I'm just going to push it all the way in, just checking that that rubber gasket comes in. That should go all the way back. And you need to then turn the handle just a little bit. You'll hear it click if you come around the other side. Get it the right way. Turn it clockwise. You'll hear it click. There. And that's now in.